father, a union organizer in the 40s and 50s, was blacklisted, accused of communist activities. Um, Lorenzo, look at your paper, follow along for me. Okay, so how old was she? Eight. She was eight years old. Let's go ahead and circle that, because that's important information. And who, who was she talking about? Her, her father. father. Her father. Let's talk about that too. Identify that for us. He was a union organizer in the 40s and 50s, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's get that circle there. Why do you think we need to circle this part? Because it tells us what? It tells us when. This tells us when in the 40s and 50s. Okay. He was blacklisted. Does anyone that? know what that is? Yeah, oh, I'm yeah. glad you said that. Blacklisted. Let's circle that and put that over here. Write that right over to the side for me. It says he was blacklisted, accused of communist activities. Do you think that's going to be something good or something bad? Something bad. Why? Why do you think it was like, such a good thing? Because they're making a big deal out of it. Accused. Accused. He was accused. So if you're accused of something, they're probably not so pleased with it, right? You think that? I agree. So what was he accused of? I don't know. Uh, like activities with other people. No, it says right here. It's in your text. Of communist activities. Okay, so we don't have to guess because it's right there provided for us. It says, it meant no work. Uh-oh. No work with a vengeance. But first off, let's write right here next to blacklisted. Because we already discussed and we decided that blacklisted means something negative, right? It doesn't mean that that's what blacklisted means. That's not the definition of it. But we're going to make um, a correlation and say that blacklisted is negative. So go ahead and write that down. Okay, and he, it meant what? What did it mean? Nothing. No work with a vengeance. Somebody tell me what vengeance is. Like, it's like a revenge. Revenge. Anyone else? It's a lick back. To get your lick back? Okay, so you do something to me, I'm going to do something to you. Right, so he was accused of communist activity meant no work with a vengeance. Okay, so they're probably saying that he was taking something away from the people, but whatever, they didn't like it. So, my mother, who? Who did she say? My mother. My mother. My mother. Uh, because that's not even a formal way of saying it, so I'm glad she didn't say mama or daddy either. My mother, then in her 40s, had twin boys that spring premature and in pre-Medicare time. You can imagine the devastating cost for their care. She had how many boys? Two, 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 two boys. boys in her what? Okay. By the time you get in your 30s, in your mid-30s, Ladies are usually not trying to, to bear children at that time. So she was in her 40s, and that probably played a role in why her, her son, is there a problem? That probably played a role in why the babies were premature, okay? And they were in pre medicare time, so you can imagine. What do you, what do you mean by premature? Premature, they were born early. So pre, you know what mature is? Yeah. So let's separate it that way. Your mom says you're not? Okay, so pre means what? What does pre mean? Early or pre? I mean, no. Means before. Mm -hmm. So before maturity. That's why looking at the beginning of words or the suffix of words is important because that helps you understand exactly what the words are that you are. If, or it helps you decode words. If you can figure out what the suffix or the affix of a word is, then you can uh, decode a word just by knowing what words like pre mean. You already know mature because some of your parents probably said to you all the time. Okay? So tell me about this one, pre-Medicare. Pre-Medicare, like, 
Medicare. You said Medicare what? It's like medicine, but it's care. So it's being able, it's like health insurance, being able to afford it or be able to afford um, medical assistance, okay? So insurance, or say that again. Medical attention? Yeah, medical attention. Okay, so this was before uh, Medicare times, and you can imagine the what? Devastating. Is devastating that's going to be a good word or is that going to be a bad, bad, bad word? Bad word. Negative. Why do you think so? Because devastating.